Hey there, uh, Bruce Milligan from Cell Pro Repair Solutions here. Today we're going to be doing the charge port replacement on an iPhone 6S. Um, here is the 6S here. Uh, we have, actually we've already opened it up so we'll just clip it back together. Um, and we'll just start her off. Actually the, in this particular phone the screws are already missing so that's no good but whatever. Um, charge port like so and also I like to do that there remove the antenna now there's one two three four there's a number of screws here so anyways I'm gonna turn the phone actually this way I'm gonna make as much room as possible just so I'm giving myself adequate room here because there are a, little, a lot of screws and I can sort of use this here to sort of note where I'm putting the screws. So speaker out just pop it out like that and yeah look at that okay so this must have been part of the customers issue as well he said he was having a problem with his antenna um, the antenna on the back of this speaker is actually broken off and that antenna should run from here all the way up to here now this is why you, oh, I guess you always buy from respectable um, 
refurbishers rather than people selling on Kijiji or whatever the case may be because that's sort of what has happened here on this particular phone. Um, let me get it right up to the mic or the thing here so you guys can see. You can see that there is a, uh, a card. Am I in the wrong place? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There, and that's, that's sort of the problem is that this came off. You can see the, uh, you can see it right there. That that's where the antenna came off of. Anyways, we're gonna need a new part for that as well. Um, so I'll ask Dave. Do you mind grabbing the success? And I should have another one of these guys in there. So as well. Yeah, look for that speaker. See, there's a speaker in there. Now I'm going to heat this guy up, so all of those are off. Does it have an antenna on it? Damn. See if you can find the antenna portion. Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. Alright, so we were able to find an antenna portion for the uh, loudspeaker. And here you go, this is essentially what it should look like on the back. See it all attached there. So that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, so I will give you, since I've got, would you have a few minutes? Yeah. So, um, we can kind of go through this location. Um, and this is... Alright. Um, for... So that just came off super easily, just because this whole phone's been refurbished. With... Crap parts. So anyways, here you go. So that's that. There's the charge port. This is the old one. Do you mind tossing that guy, Dave? Alright. So now we're going to take this. on the back is so annoying. Yes, we picked up a screw. Okay, well, if we're missing a screw, that's where it, that's where it came from. Even though it looks like we're not missing a screw, but whatever. Taking apart is quite easy. sitting well. Man, I hate this thing that it's sitting on, on the back. It's just kind of screwing everything up. So we're going to put this guy here.
charge port back, and so, sorry, the um, Taptic, or what they call so, the Taptic engine. What? that screw on it, I probably shouldn't have, I'm going to take it back off. So this is actually the antenna that wraps all the way around to the front here, or up to the top. So that must have really been disabling this phone, I don't understand why or how he was actually able to use the phone. Um, Sorry, you guys you probably can't see much here. So when we get there, that's what we're gonna do. I know it's gonna evolve Dean. I, I know it will. This is not a question. It's a bit of holding Peter's hand. to take a closer look at this. Do the upsell. There we go. Okay, as I adjust so that, I'm actually going to screw this so into place we here. Is, we're all systematized in our mail delivery service, so, um, and we can receive couriers. Now that I brought you and uh, you will now receive your email address. <coughs> okay, so that's in place. Sometimes we get documents that um, are not easily identified for agent. And so right now the default goes to here, and he's asking us to scan our So, this antenna here, we need to ensure that this kind of sits below everything, and it clips in in certain areas, like here, it's got a little clip, and then, whoops, a little clip here, there we go, we'll get in there. Okay, so that's in its clip area, and then we're going to wrap it. All the way around to right here on the top where there's a little tiny antenna connector right there. I can't be servicing 17 agents and all of their for that, right? So that's why we limited to five. Unfortunately, and I so cut my nails, which I shouldn't have. Because now I can't put this into place. That's the antenna back in place now, so that should solve a lot of that customer's yeah, so, issues. I get oh, I think the antenna came off again. Nope, it's back. So, that's okay. Um, but let me show you upstairs. Just to take okay. my, and because this might be relevant for you, I don't know what your space is like right now. I just need to move it out of the way a bit. The business there we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But first, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Okay, so that's that antenna back in place. We're gonna put the SIM card in. Um, we wanna make sure that the antenna kind of cable is a bit out of the way here because it does sort of go over that way as well. And then you, when you take the SIM card in and out, you won't be able to. We want it hanging out sort of below it. 
There we go. So now it's going to hang out underneath it. Um, placement of this is important. And then. Alright, we had a bit of an incident where the thing fell, but whatever. Um, Alright, so that connect cable is connected. Sec next, you want to connect this cable here. Here we go, so that cable is connected as well. Reconnect this uh, this part of the phone, and then all right, let's put the screen back on. Let's hook this battery back up. Turn the phone on. And uh, that's how it's done. Yes.